You know Mariah Carey. You probably know her Grammy Award-winning hit. But tonight, you'll meet the young Atlantan behind the Smash song, We Belong Together. I got a call on my cell phone saying, congratulations, you just won a Grammy. And uh, it was great. It was a great feeling. Jonte Austin, along with Jermaine Dupri and others, co-wrote We Belong Together. Austin was on his way to the big show just last month when he learned he'd won his first Grammy for R&B Song of the Year. But what does that mean for you personally? You know, when you're a young songwriter, artist, anything in the music industry, it's like your Super Bowl, the Grammys. So you, you dream of it as a, you know, when you're starting out. And to get it, it's like, wow, it's a, it's a dream come true. Someday. And although this singer-songwriter is a young 25, the award was a long time coming. John Tay Austin has been a performer since early in life, modeling even at age four. His first big gig, though, age 12. I'm in Blairsville, Georgia. This southern Appalachian town doesn't get very much snow, but they've got enough to last for a while. I remember you. I met you when you were first doing television. Yes. Doing uh, real news for kids. I'm sure you're going to play a clip of this. You I'm know sure. we oh are. Oh my gosh. Why are you going, oh my gosh. <laughs> I was uh, an aspiring journalist and, uh, you know, had yourself to look up to and I was doing the interviews and going different places. You interviewed then President George Bush. You yeah. interviewed everybody. Yeah, Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan and different continents, everything. It was it was a fun show, fun time. But it was always music that tugged at John Tay. And one night when he was a guest on the Arsenio Hall show, he got a break, a big break. Arsenio asked John Tay if he wanted to continue in journalism or do something else. And I said, yeah, I want to sing. And he says to me, well, I got a few seconds. Sing me the commercial. <laughs> and um, I, I sang, and uh, then he kept me around to sing with the band when we came back from commercial. He kept me for the whole show. How old were you? I was 13. I, I got a couple seconds. Sing me the commercial. OK. Uh, if I say that I will be your one and only. RCA signed John Tay shortly after that, but a voice change led to him being dropped from the label. But that did not slow down the determined teenager. New people come in, they have their own ideas, they have their own artists. Tyrese happened to be one, and so I got, got the boot. And um, I, in turn, wrote, <laughs> wrote a, a hit record for him, so I guess that was my payback. But yeah, that was the, um, the first song that uh, made me some money, Tyrese's Sweet Lady. That was back when Jonte was still a student at North Atlanta High School. Now, though, Jonte has written hits for Tony Braxton, Aaliyah, Sierra, and many others, including, of course, Mariah Carey. What's it like working with Mariah Carey? Oh, man, it's, a, it's fantastic. First of all, she's like, her work ethic is impeccable. It's, it's like none I've ever seen. She'll come in at like 12, 1 o'clock and want to work till 8 in the morning. <laughs> And Jonte let us in on a little secret about his next big name project involving Jermaine Dupri's longtime girlfriend, Janet Jackson. Now, wait a minute. How has that been? It's been great. Yeah, the, the stuff is going to be phenomenal. I think everyone's going to be. I, I can't talk about it. I can't, <laughs> I can't talk about it, but I, I will say that, uh, that, that Miss Jackson is back. Do you feel like you really made it now? Have you done the penultimate? No, there's still some work to be done. Who is this over here? This is John Tay Austin. John Tay's success has not made him immune to struggle. In fact, in a few instances, youthfulness plus money equal trouble. You have been a victim of driving while black. Yeah, yeah. Because of your very young face. I live, um, I guess in an okay neighborhood, nice neighborhood, and I get pulled over, and the police officer, uh, I give my license and registration, and uh, he says, well, what are you doing in this neighborhood anyway? And, <laughs> and I said, um, well, you know, I, I just bought a home right over here, and uh, he's like, really? And, um, you know, he's like, well, what, what, what is it that you do, um, you know, because you know, you look kind of young, and, and, and why would you be living over here? 
you're aware that these things, they go on, uh, but when they happen, it's like, um, it kind of, you know, just uh, just blows your mind a little bit that, that someone doesn't uh, think that uh, you can live in a certain neighborhood or drive a certain type of car. But while John Tay continues to write successful songs, the young Atlantan is moving forward and making another huge transition from behind the soundboard to behind the microphone. His first single, Little More Love, is out on iTunes, and his first album is expected in the fall. It's a little weird because, as you said, for, for so many years, I've, I've been just behind that, that control board telling everyone else uh, what to do and what not to do and making sure the songs come out great. What's your concern about making that switch to the entertainer? My real concern is I'm, I'm just trying to stay um, or keep as much of me in the, in the music uh, as much as I can because that way I don't have to really become Jonte the entertainer. I can just be Jonte the person. That's really just my biggest concern that I can still be me but uh, be entertaining enough that uh, someone is interested. <laughs> what is it that's in Jonte Austin that he's getting out through his music? Just love, all different kind of uh, aspects of love. And love was certainly the theme in Be Without You, a huge hit Jonte wrote for Mary J. Blige. Her video, by the way, stars Oscar-nominated Terrence Howard. Jonte tells us his love for music was born early in life, in church. My grandfather uh, had me singing in the church so I was like maybe five years old, I remember um, singing and being in the choir and then doing solos when I was like eight. Favorite church song since you and your dad and your grandfather and your brother do that? There's this old um, Baptist song, Lily in the Valley. Oh, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, we always sing that. That's a church favorite. Just a little. Oh, boy. <laughs> Just a little. I know it's hard to do. Here we go. Um, There's a lily. It's in the valley, and it's bright as the morning star. There is a lily, it's in the valley, and it's bright as the morning star. There. Ah, there some would say you are as bright as the morning star. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs>